Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In the sponsored video, I'm going to take a look at Cards and Castles 2. Cards and Castles 2 is this really fun card game, reminds me a lot about Hearthstone, but with a twist because there is this grid board in this game. So in this game, you have of course your cards, you have your bases, which are like heroes in Hearthstone, but there's also the board that affects lots of things that's going to happen, because units are actually placed on this grid board, and then they have to move around in order to be able to reach other units, and in order to reach the opposing castle, cards and castles. I have covered this game before. The game came out on Android and iOS around a month ago, and at the same time it also came out of early access on Steam. And now there's new stuff coming for this game. Because today, Cards and Castles launched their first expansion for the game, the Core Expansion. The Core Expansion includes 40 new cards for the game. You can acquire these cards either by purchasing a bundle that includes all of the new cards. You can also get them from cards packs and you can also craft individual cards. So all ways to acquire cards are available. And the core expansion. My first look at the core expansion, I was a little bit, a little bit confused. Like it seems like this expansion is a little bit all over the place. There's cards here and there's cards there, and it's kind of hard to find a common theme for this expansion. But I had a chance to play with these cards in advance, and once you actually start putting them into your decks, you will notice that they actually flesh out a lot of the existing archetypes and add a little bit of new twist and a little bit of missing tools for many, many decks in the game. And there's also a couple of brand new things in this expansion, so I like this expansion a lot. It's a new expansion for a new game, so the initial card pool obviously was a little bit limited, and this really completes it, so that the archetypes that you have already had access to are now a little bit more complete. Some of the things the new expansion adds are, especially some one drops, they can sometimes a little bit slow to get started right at the start. But now with Merciless Santa, with Grave Tender, with Pixies, you have much better selection of early game one drops to deny tempo to gain tempo for yourself. And then there's the Reckless Firemancer. This is my favorite card because red deck wins. And that's true regardless of the game you play. Just playing an aggressive fire based deck and having Reckless Firemancer deals damage to your own base, but who cares when the opponent's base is going down. There's also tools for control decks in the form of, for example, Salvation, which can give you temporary armor and some guardians to help defend your castle. And there's also some brand new archetypes. Sea monsters are finally being fleshed out. This archetype that wants to draw its deck, wants to have only a few cards left in its own deck, destroy your own deck in order to gain more power. Because what could be funnier? And murder fishes, for example, just a bunch of fishes with death strike that are going to destroy everything. Not to mention the Loch Ness monster. And look at how cute it is. It's wonderful. I, I love that card. Just going in with big sea monsters and destroying some bases. That that was a blast to play. And there's also a new card in Hand for the Fallen, which turns your healing deck into suddenly a destroying deck. So now you can play a control deck that is based on healing, but once in the late game you play Andvor and your healing effects become damage effects, and then you're just rolling in, suddenly you are the one who's attacking, and all of those healing spells, well, they're going to take down some castles. Just boom, and there it goes. Oh yeah, and then there's also this. Well, I, I, I don't know what to think about this, but it sure is flashy in the late game. And well, that's a lot of stuff right there. If this little introduction made you want to try out the game, there's a link down below in the description to download it, and you can use my gift code Old Guardian to get you some card packs to get started. Cards and Castles 2 is a fun game, and with the new expansion it's better than ever. You got new tools for control decks, for combo decks, for aggro decks, for mid-range. You name it, the archetype you want to play can be found in this game. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.